Welcome to Dread Vault. Today we will talk about Orange TH100 Twin Chain. Actually, I'm really curious about this amplifier because I watched lots of different reviews from different content creators and it sounds really tight and brutal in all of those reviews most of the time. But I also know it shouldn't sound like a Mesa Rectifier or 5150. You know, those are really tight amplifiers with their own unique characteristics. When I listen this amplifier from those YouTubers, from those content creators, I can hear the orange sound, but it's really tight and I know it shouldn't sound like a tight amplifier because I know lots of stoner, doom or sludge metal enthusiasts are worshipping this amplifier. Most of the time they are using this amplifier with HM2s and lots of different fuzz pedals like Procoret, etc. I will compare this amplifier with the solid state CR120 version of it and we will play for doom, sludge, stoner type of sounds in a different video and if you don't want to miss it out please don't forget to subscribe this channel but in this video i want to demonstrate this amplifier with my simple humble setup so today we will play this amplifier with my mesa rectifier standard 4x12 cabinet which is loaded with uk celestian v30s also i have a simple sure sm57 which directly goes to my focusrite audio interface and you will hear the unprocessed audio not even without a simple low or high cut and I know they are mentioning this type of stuff like some small types, but they are not small and I want to hear and I want to demonstrate the true raw audio. Also, we will boost this amplifier with a simple Maxon OD808 and I will play this LTD Eclipse 401 VF. I'm not sure about the letters meaning of the letters but we have a mahogany body with mahogany neck with samer duncan jb and 59 we have a tom bridge with 24.75 in scale you know i'm not the fan of this guitar i'm not fan of 24.75 inch scaled guitars but today i want to demonstrate the amplifier with drop d tuning because of it this 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 looks nice just before hearing the amplifier let's talk about the features of it briefly we have two different channels which are dirty and clean and if you're a regular viewer you probably know i'm a conventional guy and i don't like spending that much time on the front panel with lots of different options knobs etc because of it i really liked it we have a treble and bass knobs with a volume knob on the clean channel and we have only a volume gain and shape knob which kind of controls the mids but it also affects the bass and treble too i will demonstrate it on the dirty channel and we can switch the channel with a simple switch and on the back side of the amplifier we can adjust the amount of the power amp tubes you can either use this amplifier with two power tubes or four power tubes and we have a simple fx loop on the back side of the amplifier now let's open it up oh actually i close it let's play it on full because who cares about the half <laughs> I hope I can demonstrate it well. It's it 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 has a crushing wall of sound kind of feeling, but it's really loose actually. And I know we can't change that with a Maxon OD808 because the characteristics of this amplifier is really loose. If you ever played a Mesa dual rectifier or triple rectifier, any rectifier, you're probably familiar with this feeling. The amplifier, that amplifier is really loose too, but it it it. It, it, it crushes, it punches with the touch of an Maxon OD808 or TS9 or some different green overdrive pedal. It shouldn't be green too. Anyway, <laughs> with a simple overdrive pedal. But orange is kind of different and it won't change that much. And let, let me demonstrate it. <laughs> add 
adds a little bit of saturation, you know, it, it kind of adds a little bit of sizzle. You know, it's not some fireball or 5150. Still, you can open up a booster to add a little bit of saturation to your sound, to your mix, but it won't change how the amplifier sounds. And now let's check the EQ and other features. Actually, we have only three. And let's check the gain knob. Actually, it's really boxy and I like it on the new. And now let's continue with the clean channel. And now let's return to the dirty channel and let's check the output and tube control switch. I think the sound is okay. Now let's switch the output. In the post process, I will match the sound of the signals and you will hear the differences in the characteristics, but actually it will lower the volume.
And now let's do the same to the tube control switch. Let's start with four. And now we are on two. It's really interesting actually, when I switched the output switch to half row full, it didn't change that much, still the sound was same, just, it was just a little bit of difference on the volume, but when I switched to the two tubes from four tubes, the amplifier, the sound lost its power and saturation and its punch. Because of it, I would use on the four tube no matter what, but still it can be useful for different type of purposes. I'm not sure what it is, but it can be useful. There has to be a logic behind it. There, there should be a reason behind it, obviously, but I couldn't get the same amount of power by increasing the volume on the two tube. Because of it, I would use on the four tube no matter what. Besides that, it's a magnificent amplifier. The power, the punch in it, it's breathtaking and it's not some alternative to a different type of amplifier. It is what it is, and if you want an orange sound, you should get one, and actually I'm really sad about all of those reviews. They are trying to sound it like a Mesa or EVH or some different brands tight amplifier, but this is an orange, a loud orange, a loud amplifier, and it should be, and I hope I, can, I could demonstrate it well, and I hope you enjoyed the content. And if you enjoyed the content, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Those are really important for the growth of this channel. Also, please don't forget to leave your opinions in the comment section, especially about your pedal request, distortion or fast pedal request, because you know, I will compare this one with CR120 orange solid state amplifier. And I would love to give it a go to different pedals if I could, if I could find one. Besides that, there's nothing else to say. Till the next video, see ya.